Hi, my name is Ray Mansarek. I'm working with Michael C. Ford, a good friend and poet, and uh, we're just making some poetry and music. In the beginning, there were beatniks playing poetry with jazz musicians. Okay, Ray, do you want to uh, take a solo break? Uh, right after... Uh, I always want to take a solo break. I think the jazz musicians improvised around what the beatniks were reading. Yeah, we're on two tracks, right? Yeah. And it was a lot of fun. It was great. There was uh, some marvelous, marvelous jam sessions were held and just wonderful things going on. But ultimately, it didn't last because the musicians weren't composing for the poems. So what I try to do is compose things to his poetry. I read his poetry as he's reading his poetry. So what I make are small compositions that are improvisations, but I know I'm going to release, I'm going to stop, I'm going to break back into the rhythm, I'm going to accent what he is saying. The music is an underpinning to the poetry. So uh, that's what I try to do, and I think that's the future, uh, the new direction of uh, poetry and music, treating the poet as a lead singer and playing behind the lead singer. Extreme Unction for James Douglas Morrison. That strange funeral, Jimbo. Faces crumble like flame-cold Chinese lamps. Skins peel as the cemetery earth is turning away Jimbo. We remember the lizard with dreams of lost grasshoppers in his sleep. As in your strange sleep now, Jimbo. No funeral march, no media circus wagon procession, no grieving mistresses, no wife, no wake, no wail, no black lace crucifixes in an open tomb, no acid spitting tribute, no homage of liquor and blood, no goopy gossip column for teenage America. All this will come later. The poet has a sense of rhythm. Uh, poetry is all rhythmic. It's the rhythm of the words and uh, of course what is music but chord changes on top of that rhythm. So a poet puts verbal meaning on top of rhythm and musicians, instrumentalists, put melody and chord changes on top of rhythm. And that's why I can play with poets, because we're, we're all doing the same rhythm thing. One month before you bailed out, Alverno parchment wings transported your poem, which will continue to burn beside exploitation fires fanned by fans who will pretend they knew you. Desperate parasites feeding off your poor dead bones, the vampires of journalism turning your blood into a money hustle. Jesus, it was a strange funeral, Jimbo. We were all dressed in white raiment, as profound as snow. Snow that wanted to fall like pale cicadas in Paris. Good for me. Cool.